areas of Huddersfield Town's historic past. But the present attraction is very much of two third division sides enjoying remarkable seasons. And that has filled the main stand for the first time for a league game since Manchester United were here in the first division almost ten years ago. Huddersfield have Dave Cowling fit to return in midfield. The goalkeeper Neil Freeman is starting his second month on loan from Birmingham City. And last season's leading scorer, Ian Robbins, is on the substitutes bench for the seventh successive match. And that's because of the arrival of Terry Austin for a club record fee of £120,000 from Mansfield Town. And Austin has averaged a goal a game in his six league outings. Barnsley must manage today without striker Trevor Aylott, who has a damaged hamstring. So Glyn Riley plays in attack alongside Derek Parker, who today celebrates exactly one year with the club and his 24th birthday. And celebrations too for defender Mick McCarthy, 22 years old today. A special seat for Norman Hunter, still on crutches and still recovering from a knee operation that has kept him away from the preparation for this game. The referee today, Neil Midgley from Salford, and Huddersfield Town kickoff, trying to prevent Barnsley from establishing a new or equaling a club record of 21. League games unbeaten. Barnsley today have changed into black shorts to go with their normal red shirts. And in the first half, they defend the goal to the left. And here's Mike Lester. It'll be interesting to see whether the obvious tension of the occasion will affect the players in the opening phase of the game. Sutton in quickly on Riley. This is Derek Parker. The pitch is soft and will take a good stud. Riley. Something partially holding up Glavin. This is Ian Banks. And Barnsley get a free kick. Attacking in this first half, the end behind which their supporters are massed. Free kick from Banks, and it's skidded off Sutton behind for the corner. It's coming towards Cowling. Early from Robinson. Barnes have only been beaten twice away from home this season. Rotherham and Reading, both in September. And the last league defeat was on September the 30th when they lost at home to Brentford the players saying before the game that they haven't really been in the best of form in recent games but the results have kept ticking along too high for Austin Stanton Fullback and Cowling trying to steer it over Martin New. Bouncing it on, but Lester is the to react to the players around him. Here's 
Dennis Robinson. It's too long, surely, even for the pumping stride of Steve Kindon. New, who started his career as a junior with Arsenal, as did Neil Freeman at the other end. Here's Chambers, a lot of movement ahead of him. Now Stanton. Tim King Joyce. Good space for Dave Cowling. Austin! Huddersfield Town at their best. Moving quickly from midfield. Direct. And Terry Austin with the final touch that was, what, a yard wide. Sutton gets a flick. Not from Leicester. Michael couldn't settle it again. It was Kennedy who did the important job for Huddersfield. Austin, Robinson goes again. Stanton coming near post and Cowling. <laughs> rolled away. Robinson who started and was involved again. And Cowling and Stanton couldn't make the most of the cross. Parker. of Evans is to stay close to Kingdom. already next Saturday having passed the 20 points and add further points to his tally Evans presumably feeling that he should have had a free kick Crutches was up on his feet at that incident. Not the easiest of encounters for Neil Midgley. But he's kept well up with the play and has been on top of most incidents. And he waves play on as Leicester had the advantage even though he was being held. Disappointment on the faces of Kindon and Austin, but he's disallowed it, and it seems that Neil Midgley has spotted an infringement before the ball reached Terry Austin, presumably for Steve Kindon being held back as he played the ball through. Austin put the ball in, which adds to the drama and will not make Mr. Austin very happy. Can Kinden make anything of it, leaning back as he hit it? So the 
free kick given to the referee blowing before Huddersfield had finished that sweeping move with Terry Austin's apparently scoring shot. Sutton's header. And there's a yard of space here for Brian Stanton. Here's Lillis. And McCarthy drawn out of the middle. And new right on his line. Takes it from Cowling. Swung in by Mark Lillis. though the angle was tight. Terry Austin and then gave Huddersfield a free kick on the edge of the Barnsley penalty area but at half time it's Huddersfield Town 1 Barnsley 0 so Barnsley looking to get their first ever double over Huddersfield Town but they have to come from behind to do so the blessings that they're just the one goal adrift at the moment. Certainly a hard first half for men like Mick McCarthy there and Ian Evans. Obviously we will surely be hoping to settle to a better rhythm in the second 45 minutes, but it's no credit to Huddersfield who have worked so hard all over the pitch, but particularly in midfield build their platform for this game. Parker. Now Leicester. Gets it back from the list. Charged down by Joyce. that the game is walking a tight line between competitiveness and over that mark. So Kennedy keeps the pressure on. Town. And we've got joy from them. And that's Austin. And he comes through the pack to get the fist to it. Here's Kinden. Kinden again, and Martin Yeo finding the strength on the cross, pulling the ball from him, and he has to touch it behind, really driven in by Steve Kinden. The goalkeeper was committed, but it needed the touch. Brown making his dart towards the near post. Touches it back for Cowling. Came too quickly to him. Lillis. 
Kennedy couldn't control it when he'd beaten the offside. Now Banks. Leicester. Chambers making the extra man. Kingdom coming back with him. It's more promising for Barnsley. And Charles D. Kingdom completed the good work. He'd run some 80 yards to get the final touch back to the goalkeeper. pace and variety to Huddersfield Town, Terry Austin. And he reacted quickly when he got a slightly fortuitous bounce. Run away from Glavin to Cowling. Early from Kinden. Deflected. Despite the acrobatics of Neil, who is furious with the linesman who signaled for the corner, the corner it is. It was a good intelligent ball from Kinden that McCarthy had trouble dealing with. And when Stanton hit it, it was deflected here by Leicester. And the linesman said corner. touch and right under his own bar McCarthy puts it over Dave Sutton flicking it on Dowling looking to curve it in from the right this time Sutton goes again can Kinden turn and it was blocked from Austin Joyce finally gets the foot in for Barnsley. <laughs> See McKinnon, who tried to turn and then tried to set up Austin. Cowling. Forward from Robinson, and here's Kinden. Robinson again. to have held off Austin. So Barnsley back under the collar again. Cowling has a two-man wall to bend it over, and that's Austin! to add to his tally, Terry Austin. And denied by his former teammate at Mansfield, Martin New. And here's Parker. Marvin was obstructed. Possibilities here. Neil Freeman still hasn't got his wool quite right. I think he would want four. And it's set up for Banks. And it was Riley whose final touch sent it wide. Decoy work set up Ian Banks, who got his shot through to force Freeman into the block. Lavin drilled it in, and it seemed that he must score. It came all the way across, in fact, and far too fast for Riley to do anything with. And he'll 
Cooper will come on. The versatile Scott comes on for Ian Banks. Cooper, who's had spells on the side this season, that right back and in midfield, and will be the deputy, it seems, for Ian Evans. And Evans is suspended for the cup tie at Middlesbrough. Here's Riley, and it's broken well for him. And the chance goes away from Glenn Riley. He was fortunate as it ricocheted against him, but then the chance was clear enough, and on the left foot he hooked it wide. Here's Kendon. Spotted by McCarthy, it breaks back for Kindle again, and this is Stanton who can make sure this foot stops him. Brian Stanton, who's scored in four out of the last five home league games, and as it came into his path, he got it past the goalkeeper, and it was out off the outside of the post. For Riley, nice turn. Cooper, Joyce outside him. Cooper goes his own way. And the Barnsley players feel that it brushed Freeman's hand. We have the advantage of a second look. And Cooper thought twice, thought again, and then curved his shot. It seemed to shave the outside of the post. One or two players looking a little weary now. As we come towards the final ten minutes. The pace has rarely slackened. And it's still there to be decided. Joyce. Glavin. What can he manufacture? There's Leicester. Loses Kennedy this time. Turned away with a shake of the head. And represented his annoyance because he knew it was a good effort. The little dummy that lost Kennedy. Freeman had to be well positioned. And today's attendance 28,901. The biggest here for a league game since October 1971 when Manchester United were the first division visitors. So Barnsley have six waiting for the ball planted in here. And that will do for Brian Stanton and the Huddersfield Town supporters. Chambers, apart from the goalkeeper, the only Barnsley player in his own half. Here's Austin. And Stanton will want to keep possession now.